Dieses Video hat deutsche Untertitel. Este Video tiene subtítulos en español. This video has subtitles in English. Welcome to the dry Andalusian summer and welcome back to Gran Hakamitu. Summer in this region ain't for the faint at heart. It's almost a desert and the vultures don't circle overhead for no reason. Summer means hardship for everybody and not everybody makes it through. Today it is not so much about what we do but what nature does. I hope you are interested in regenerative agriculture. If you are, then this video is for you. If you are unfamiliar with the Mediterranean climate and live in a place where it rains throughout the whole year, then you may have a challenge to appreciate my excitement about something that might be totally normal for you. Trust me, it ain't in this place. I'm going to take you on a drone flight and talk a bit about our observations of grass growth during summer. We are in a Mediterranean climate, which means that after a lot of rainfall during autumn, winter and spring, there is no rainfall at all during summer. That means several months without a single drop of rain. At the very end of summer, there might be a quick shower, but that's about it. During summer, the temperatures also rise significantly. During the hot phase of summer, we see 40 degrees Celsius or even a bit more. That's pretty hot. Most plants cannot sustain that kind of heat and go dormant or even die off. Combine the heat with grazing animals looking for something to eat and you have the recipe for disaster if you cannot manage it properly. We did a huge investment into a lot of fencing so that we can control where our animals go and where plants can recover without being bitten too soon. The common practice of set stocking, where a fixed number of animals can roam a huge field unrestricted, is very detrimental in our climate. The animals won't allow any of the few green plants to recover and eventually destroy all vegetation. Some animals, like the pigs, will finish the job and leave only dirt. Besides fencing and management, we also have started to use ponds to retain rainwater for longer. Over time, the surrounding areas should saturate with water, allow more roots to grow, and in turn then the soil should be able to hold more water below the surface. These green speckles are scissors. They have thorns to defend themselves against grazing animals. They seem to show up everywhere during summer, but I have learned that they are actually helping to fix a problem. They have a taproot, apparently are good at conserving water, and can sustain the heat. It seems that they are nature's repair crew. They grow where the soil is heavily compacted and won't show up when conditions change. We are now overflying an area that has changed a lot during the summer. There is a seasonal creek, but the last time it had water was during spring, and that's several months ago. The green grass you can see is Synodon dactylon. It's a grass that's native to the Mediterranean, but because it grows flat instead of tall, people here don't consider it to be pasture. The common English name for it 
is Bermuda grass. It was introduced to the United States via the island of Bermuda and is used as pasture, but not in Andalusia where it just grows, if you let it. We let the animals graze off all the cold season grasses in the areas we are overflying, so that the emerging Bermuda grass gets enough sunlight. It likes the heat, and as I read, it thrives at 35 degrees Celsius. That's exactly what we have most of the time. Remember, that plant is a native of the area. We are looking at A15. It had a good cover of cold season grass. The Bermuda grass is reproducing via rhizomes, which means it grows roots under the surface around the parent plant, and from there new plants are born. Over time, this could be our summer pasture. This is now a ground level view of A17 a month later. The Bermuda grass has grown much more and we even had a single bull graze it off already. The guy was chased out of his paddock by our horses and then discovered the perfect spot. Lucky him. So yes, this can be pasture if managed properly. The speed of regrowth depends on moisture. The limiting factor at the moment is the lack of humus, but that is being fixed as the grass is allowed to grow. Grass isn't the only new thing growing here at Granja Camito during summer. This is what wants to become a food forest. It is now in its second year and the trees have started to produce some fruits. We have already tasted peaches and also shared quite a bit with the birds. Over time, we will be some sort of the only oasis in the desert. All the wildlife from around will converge on our place. But that's okay. Abundance will hopefully solve the issue. There ought to be enough for everyone. Now, at the end of summer, we also have this. It is a tomato plant in some spent straw. Last year we did an experiment with tomatoes in A17. Then the cows and horses ate the remnants, and this summer we find these two tomato plants growing all alone in the straw. They have never received any water from us. They survive and grow with the moisture that's in the soil and preserved by the straw. That's the power of mulching. As you can see, they have fruits. They may be small, but the taste is very intense. Fruit trees and wild tomatoes isn't the only thing growing. Here we have a patch of vetiver grass. We irrigate to make sure this heat-loving plant can grow a deep root system quickly, so that next season we don't have to water anymore. Vetiver can grow a root system up to 4 meters deep, and we know that there is water under the surface. That patch of vetiver and a few others we have planted is also our emergency ration for the horses and bulls that we now have in our zone A at the end of summer. The leaves will lose their green color with cooler temperatures and we plan on feeding them to the animals before that happens. It's a grass and will regrow when the temperatures rise again. Speaking about the horses, here they are at the creek which is the outflow of a nearby water reservoir. There cool season grasses can sustain the heat and thus we have some food there. We manage access to it so that it always has time to recover from grazing. For the moment the horses and bulls can live off of that grass before we need to tap into the vetiver reserve. As I prepare this video we are about to get some real rain. If all goes well we should have new grass everywhere in two or three weeks. That's the summer update. I hope you enjoyed it and will come back soon for more news and results from regenerative agriculture. I believe we are on the right track. There is a lot of work ahead and we have a lot of plans. If you want to deep dive into what we are up to, you are welcome to visit our special website at bosque.caimito.net where we maintain our master plan in public.
As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel. See you soon at Granha Kamito.